Hey, this is Dan with University of Beach Volleyball. Thanks for joining us for another lesson. Today we're going to be talking about attacking the ball as high as you can. Whether you jump six inches or six feet off the sand, it really doesn't matter. You need to reach for the ball and go after it and attack it with as high above your head as you possibly can. Um, if you are not doing this and you are successful or you think of yourself as a successful beach volleyball player, you're probably not playing against good enough competition. Uh, good competition will see you drop your arm and let the ball come down to you and they will eat you up. So practice this no matter what you're doing. Practice uh, attacking the ball as high as you possibly can above the net or at least above your head with your whole hand. So let's take a look at a couple warm-up uh, plays here. Practice makes perfect, or perfect practice makes perfect, I guess. Okay, just a warm-up hit. Well, what's the guy doing? Well, the big goon can't get off the ground clearly, but he's right up underneath the ball, which is perfect. On the beach, you want to jump right up underneath the ball as much as you can to attack it. His elbow is high, so that when your elbow is high pointing up to the sky it gives you a greater opportunity to attack the ball as high above uh, your head as you possibly can reach um, don't get confused indoor players you want to hit the ball in front of your head uh, it's not really on the beach okay you can see where the contact is made with a ball here it is made above the net even though you can barely fit two credit cards underneath his feet between his the bottom of his feet in the sand so there's no jump basically but the contact with the ball was uh, above the net and that's what you want to do no matter what you're doing how high you can jump you want to make contact with the ball as high as you can reach it makes it very difficult for the defensive players to see what you what you're doing with the ball if you contact it with your hand as high above your head as you can now on this one he's going to let the ball drop so you can see, actually, uh, the cripple jumped a little higher on this one, but he's making contact with the ball much, much lower because he didn't reach. That little split second gives everything away to good defensive players, and they can tell that you're going shot with this one. There's no way you're going to be hitting it. Good news about it, he's, he got uh, moved his feet enough on the jump to get underneath the ball, so he's not, it's not too far in front of him, so he has good control over it. But letting it drop that far is going to be death. This is compared to the last one where there was no jump, and he's hitting the ball probably a foot higher, or making contact with the ball at least a foot higher with no jump rather than a foot lower with a jump because he let the ball drop. Makes a huge difference. This is something that you got to practice over and over and over again. And here's one. It's a warm-up hit where doesn't move his feet enough and doesn't look like much on that but when you stop the picture you see that he makes contact with the ball too far in front of him so now instead of the ball being where that dotted line is making contact right above his head he's making contact with the ball in front of him now on a shot like this and with a no jump well actually he's jumping a little higher on this one also than the first one but see how low he's making contact with the ball because it's out in front of him you want to make the, as I said, you want to make contact with the ball as high above your head as you possibly can, which means moving your feet underneath the ball and jumping straight up underneath it. Doesn't matter what level you're playing at, it makes a huge difference. So here's the, here's the one where you let the ball drop. Okay, so I've got a foot off the ground on the jump, if that, but he's making contact with the ball below the net. And this is where it all will unravel for you. And this is the part that if you're getting away with this consistently, you're not playing against good enough competition. So practice this and play against better competition. Here's the no jump, but actually making contact above the net. with Right up underneath the ball with a fully outstretched hand. You can go uh, line, angle, anywhere with that shot by just turning your hand rather than pushing it with... Uh, uh, with your arm like that last picture. So that's where you want to be uh, in terms of practicing your shots. Reach for the ball. Make contact with it as high as you can. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I had 
I hope you learned a bunch from this. Um, practice this no matter what you're doing. If you're doing warm-up hits or whatever, hit the ball as high above your head as you possibly can. Have a great one. Look forward to uh, meeting you guys again. Um, give me some feedback. Love to hear it. All right, have a good one.